YouTube, it is your boy Terrell Payne, and I am back once again, and I have got another tattoo. Actually, my half a sleeve of skulls that I started on, I finally finished that bitch. I finished the back. For, for start off, there's a gas mask, there's a skull with a gas mask on this tattoo, on this sleeve. That is a tribute to our friend Brett, Back Smasher, Reverend Sick, Whoever, whatever you want to call him, a good friend of ours from the Epic Gaming crew and everything, it's a tribute to him. So everybody, you know, shout out to my man, smash bag of cancer, bro. But, um, I finally got it done. I went to old boy. It took about two hours for the back. He had it like, uh, five or six goals. I'm definitely loving it, man. I can't wait till the back heals up. It's going to look fucking awesome. Fucking, he touched up the front a little bit, a few little things that he missed last time when we, you know, when we was doing it. Um, but yeah, other than that, bro, it's fucking awesome. Let's see, it took about, so it took about six, seven hours for the front, two hours for the back, and it cost me 860 bucks. Let's see, six, uh, yeah, 860 bucks. And that's actually a pretty good fucking price compared to some studios. No, it just, I guess it just all depends on where you go, you know. But it's, it's real detailed, it looks real fucking good, and I will be going down my whole fucking arm and getting a full sleeve of skulls on this bitch. Um, I ain't gonna do it right now, probably about two months, cause I, all my extra cash, I'm getting extra cash, as in, you know, cash that isn't going towards bills or what the fuck ever, you know, whatever, but, uh, all the extra cash that I'm getting is going towards now, is gonna go get a PS4. I gotta get PS4, that way I get WWE 2K15 on that motherfucker, you know, just, yeah, fucking right. But, um, after that, I'm gonna save up, and yeah, we're gonna get this fucking full sleeve done, full sleeve of motherfucking skull, son, shit's gonna be bad as fucking shit. Uh, and definitely pain wise, it hurts. It's a motherfucking tattoo. It's a needle going into you. But me, I have a very high tolerance for pain. Even the tattoo guy said that. Like when I started doing the first shit, like when we sat there for six, seven hours, he's like, man, you, you're, you're a fucking boss, bro. Just sitting here. And I'm just chilling, bro. I ain't worried about shit. We just talking, having stories. I, pain doesn't bother me. Hence the name terrible pain, motherfucker. Come on now. But, uh, yeah, when you went to the armpit, that was kind of bad. If you look right beside the one on the armpit, that little bitty one that's long, that's the one that hurt the most. That bitch, yeah, yeah, definitely. But, um, I still took it. It's all good, man. Fucking, my other arm, I'm, I'm finished, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish tanning it up too, but, uh, we're gonna wait. I got a, I definitely got a bunch of ideas for my left arm, cause my left arm is just gonna be Native American stuff. I got my skull with my headdress, and I got my wolf dream catcher over there. And over here, we got a fucking stack of skulls. I don't know, I got a few other ideas in a few different places. I love fucking tattoos, and all of them definitely have meaning. This one was a cover-up, though, but it still means something a lot. It means a lot to me, so fucking... But, um, yeah, there you go. Just want to show off the new pics. Tattoo Pain, episode 2. Of course, the name Tattoo Pain is the shit that I put. I don't know if I'm going to name it this time, but the last one was just a play on my name. Tattoo Pain. I'm not actually in pain when I'm doing it, because, well... Like I said, it does hurt. It's a fucking needle. But it all depends on your high to your tolerance. I've seen grown ass men, like big motherfuckers. Like, I'm a small motherfucker. I'm small. I'm like 5'3, you know, 130. But, uh, yeah, if that's a trip, that trips you out, huh? When you hear my voice, sounds like I'm a huge motherfucker. But I've seen big motherfuckers try to get tatted on just fucking crying and shit. Like, I've seen dudes who get just, you know, it just all depends on your pain level. Um, I suggest not going for any inside areas if it's your first tattoo. If it's your first tattoo, just do some outside area. Get used to the needle before you start going in, like, by your armpits and the sides. Or your ribs. Your ribs are gonna hurt like a motherfucker. Like, you, yeah, just... Definitely start with something else and try to feel the pain in the needle before you start going for other shit like that. I doubt I get anything on my ribs or my stomach or anything. I got, I got scars and shit. I don't know. Where I just leave the scars there. Not like I fucking was like in a bob wire match one day. How about that shit? Not really, but you know, whatever. Anyway, as always, don't go ahead. I am out this bitch. Wait, hold up. I did, I did that, bro. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this shit. Me, I am out this bitch. Later, people. Maniac, till I die. I touched the gun to ride. Them bumper clots popping lip on my